this luxury RV resort offers an experience that is guaranteed to keep you out of the doghouse for months to come. We're staying in an awesome resort in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And this is the first time we've been in this area. And if you didn't know exactly where you were, you would never know that you were downtown in the heart of Yacht Central here in Fort Lauderdale. It is crazy. We have learned so much about this area. Like it's like it's where all the mega yachts come to be delivered. They call this the Venice of the U.S. You guys have <laughs> got to come here and check out this town because I, honestly, I thought Fort Lauderdale was a sleepy old town, <laughs> yeah. but it is not. It is super fun. There's a lot to see and do here. And if you come here and stay at this luxury RV park, you're in the middle of it all. Yeah, this is not your grandma and grandpa's RV park. I got to tell you that. Phil set me up with one of these nice rides with maybe some charcuterie, some wine. We have our own captain driving the boat. He could probably uh, be out of the doghouse for a good six months to a year, depending on how bad it gets. Hopefully for a year. That way, if I screw up in the middle, I still have some bank points. <laughs> <laughs> but this is one awesome way to get out and about here in Fort Lauderdale. We get to go all through the intercoastal. We can stop and go to a restaurant. Right. You can check out some of the sites along the way or just sit back, relax, and let the captain do all the work. I think we'll do that today. Yeah. Staying at this resort makes me feel like I am living in luxury. I mean, it is surrounding us. Yeah, I just, Every time I walk out the door, I'm just in awe of how well they've landscaped and, and the extra touches and care that they put into this resort. And it's not just the campground. It's the multi-million dollar <laughs> real estate that surrounds the campground. It's the mega yachts. It's the cars that cost more than my RV. I mean, you literally are surrounding us. So if the campground is that luxurious, that means they should have luxury touches everywhere so let's go check out the bathroom and the laundry room to see if they check the boxes yeah because you you know everybody judges the campground by how clean and pristine the bathrooms are all right i'm hooked you're gonna want to <laughs> see this all right this is like no other campground shower we have ever been to i feel like i'm in a sweet hotel i mean check out this shower as a matter of fact this is so cool i'm getting it right now okay just kidding <laughs> yeah no way did she do that not right now but i gotta tell you this is really sweet i don't feel like i'm at a campground i feel like i just walked into a resort Ditto. this is nice and it's got a, a nice little ac unit in here so you can come in here and take your sweet time all right so they hit these out of the park let's check out the laundry room the shower has inspired me to go buy a nice terry cloth fluffy robe, take my soaps, and go linger in their showers for a while. Let's see if the laundry room makes me want to do laundry. I doubt it, but let's check it out. All right, well, it's definitely winning me over. I see light, bright, big washers and dryers, and check out this countertop. It's the perfect place to fold all your laundry. I mean, what campground have you been to with a marble countertop? This is pretty sweet. And tons of light. Check out the windows. It's light and bright in here. You don't feel like you're in a dirty, dusty cave with washer and dryers that have not seen a washcloth in forever. And it's a cool 70 degrees in here and smells fabulous. Oh yeah, it smells great. It smells like fresh cotton, fresh linen. It smells great in here. So I think that means Phil needs to bring laundry over here and knock it out, right? Yeah, he I, is the laundry guy. I see a few loads of laundry in my future now. 
Don't want to spend the money to pay a captain's salary so you can go out and explore on the water? No problem. We got you covered. The best is yet to come. This, it's somebody's backyard. I mean, seriously. I feel like we're on an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. <laughs> Except. Like, who's the guy with the accent? Like, what was his name? He Robert, those, Le was it Robert Leach. Leach. Yes, yeah. yes. I need him here talking in my ear with his sweet voice. Tell me about all these homes and how many millions of dollars they cost. Of course, the best part about traveling along the intercoastal is stopping and popping in and, and having lunch. Yeah, a couple boats right in front of us had the same idea. So it's just a matter of finding the right spot so that you can get off and, and walk around. Now that was a really fun morning on the water. We got to travel at our own leisure. We got to drool in private over all the mega yachts. Um, absolutely stunning. You got to check it out. Now, if you don't want to rent a boat for the day, I have another option for you. You can also hop on the Fort Lauderdale water taxi. Bring your friends, a cocktail, and the captain and crew will provide plenty of fun facts about the local area. You can disembark at any of the 11 stops for dining, shopping, cocktails, or even to relax on the beach. But you can also stay on board for the entire three hour tour. Oh yeah, I went there. Come on in. The owner knocked it out of the park when he found these really cool airstreams. It is a great way to have your friends and family come and visit you while you're on the road, or if you don't have an RV or don't want to drive your RV all the way out here to Fort Lauderdale, you can rent these like an Airbnb. They are really cool, and I think we should stay in them just to find out if we could go a little smaller. Oh, they're way too small. I couldn't do it. There's a bigger option here for rental, so let's check this one out. Ooh, this one's nice, Phil. Look, you can have your own bed. We should go for something like this. Negative. This is really nice, especially for a rental. Come on back. Actually, what would be really fun if we rented all three and we brought the whole family in. The kids could come, the grandkids. That would be really fun. Now that would be fun. That's the only way I'm getting in an airstream. Phil definitely thinks the airstreams are too small for us long term, but looky here, there's also a class A for rent. So if you have a larger family, want to stay all in the same place, how about this place? Nice size bedroom back here. This is more my style, a little bit of room in the bathroom. Yeah. I fit in the shower. So this is one of their rentals on Airbnb, or you can call Yacht Haven to uh, rent it. So it's another way for you guys to get nestled into the heart of the city and be able to go see all the sites and everything be right here at your fingertips. This resort turned into a resort from a campground that was getting ready to be demolished about a year ago. So all of these beautiful changes are brand new. And there's nothing like watching through the window of your RV as these mega yachts are just going down through the canal. It makes you want to chill and relax. And I've done a lot of that in the morning, sitting outside drinking my coffee right there on the marina, watching the boats and the water. They do have plans in the future to have water shuttles downtown, or you could rent a boat yourself if you want to go downtown. So you don't have to get in your car and fight the traffic and find a place to park. You can just Tool on down the new river and find a public dock or marina, pull up and go enjoy your time. The shuttles are also going to be not just by water, but by land too. That's so they're right. going to shuttle you to big venues. And they're also talking about putting a few of the lots up for sale. So make sure you keep an ear out for that if it's something that you're looking for. The best part of this RV resort is the fact that you are in the heart of Fort Lauderdale. So there's so much to see and do here. And if you come to this luxury RV resort, 
you're in the middle of everything. 15 minutes from Hard Rock Casino, 15 minute drive from downtown on the yep. Riverwalk. You are a 20 minute boat ride to the river walk where you can go and have dinner and chill out. You're 20 minutes from the Everglades. The next upgrade they're planning on doing is a brand new office and check-in. You can see behind us what it's gonna look like. So it is gonna be sweet and this is happening in just a few short months. What you see behind us is a rendition of what they're doing right here to the clubhouse. This clubhouse is gonna be a double decker where they have seating and lounge area on the top. They're going to have a catering type rotation inside the clubhouse for food. The, the plans for this are amazing in itself. You hear that Yacht Haven? We want to come back. <laughs> we do plan on coming back hopefully next February when this is all finished so we can show you what real luxury looks like. We're willing to do that and take one for the team, that's for sure. Just for you guys. There's several different sites you can choose from when you come here to Yacht Haven, but they all are paved and most of them include patios. So there are plenty of space for you to sit back and relax outside the RV. 99, 100. <sighs> Ooh. Uh. That was a great workout. You guys only wish you could uh, shoulder press 175 pounds like I can. <laughs> okay, so this is the current gym. We just told you about what is due to come but while you're here before that one pops open which will be next year around january february of 24 you can still get a nice sweat on right here in this gym two three <laughs> phil you really need to up that weight i don't know why you dropped it down to 25. yeah 